Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today I am so ridiculously happy because it's finally time to do the official cover reveal for my upcoming novel, Paper Forests. We are coming ever closer to the May 17th release date. Um, that's a lie, the book's actually coming out on June 21st because some self-publishing things came up and some life things, but June 21st, ignore May, June. I don't know how many days it is to be exact, and I've been doing these like very exciting, kind of last minute things like checking for typos and formatting the ebook because that's just the joy of self-published author life and just very excitedly waiting the moment where I can hold a physical copy of the book in my hands which hopefully will be in maybe like three to four weeks time and then I'll be able to upload like me unboxing my proof copies for the first time and have that very exciting moment which is arguably the best moment of all. I'm not quite sure how to do a cover reveal because I uploaded it to Goodreads about two years ago when I first got the cover because I was very excited and I thought this book could be done a lot faster than it was. So I think I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick it on screen. <laughs> Here's my cover. <laughs> this cover was made by Oak Anthony who is someone I found on Etsy and then found again on Twitter by chance a few weeks ago which is quite weird. Originally it was a pre-made cover when I bought it so it was originally listed with a different title, a different author name and I bought it and now it's mine to use. And that's kind of sad because I don't think Oak does covers anymore. So I don't know that if I do write a sequel to this book, if I'll be able to have matching covers, which is an issue to worry about later on. And while we are talking about covers, let's talk about the formats. So the ebook will have this cover. The paperback will have this cover. Although I have to make the spine in the back cover. So I'm sorry if the quality differs. But for the hardback version, I'm always like not quite sure what to do with hardbacks because... I don't know how much you know about self-publishing through KDP, through the Amazon service. You get the most money from ebooks, you get the second most money from paperbacks. And the hardbacks is, again, um, you make even less money from hardbacks unless you make them quite expensive. The hardbacks have only just been added to KDP, so we're going to see how it goes. But I'm thinking, let's use, let's use Boosting Back as an example. So Paper Forests will have the cover that I've showed you, it'll have the back. The ebook will have the cover that I showed you, but for hardbacks, I'm thinking because I'm not planning on selling many of those because I will have to make them pricier than I would like for them to be able to make any money or any profit. So I think for the hardbacks, because they'll just be me, I'll go for the same route that I'm going for Beauty and the Breakdown. This is proofs you can't see, where it will be like the fan art cover. This art is made by Kyle Wakefield, who was one of my friends back on the day on Mavellas. The trophies are back here and read my, like this book and Paper Forest in the very early stages and made me art four years ago for these books. So I think having the hardbacks as like a fan art edition is very nice for me because it's still a tribute to the website novellas and my early days of writing and the people who made these books happen for me. I can definitely offer an ebook and a paperback. It's just, it's just the tough decisions of do I want to make the money back that I spent on publishing this book or do I want to make it as cheap as possible for as many people as possible to buy it? So if you're wondering how to support me, ebooks first <laughs> and then paperbacks. I feel so greedy and disgusting but this is, this is life. So I think while we're here let's just say a few more things about paper forests because I've only done I've introduced that I'm writing a book, I've done a tag so far. So let's just say a couple more things that I may not have mentioned so far, or I may have, just for anyone who happens to stumble upon this video. I think the number one big thing to say is that Paper Forests is not a sequel to this book. Although the real world parts in Paper Forests, in my head, set place in the same world as this, because it's a very normal real world setting, even though the majority of the book does exist in the forest. But I think it's nice having like a little connection to this book and then I can reference some characters from this, potentially. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure of the exact page count or the final word count right at the moment, but Paper Forest runs around 50,000 words. And this book, again through this book, this book is 45,000, but I formatted it to take up um, about 310 pages. So Paper Forest will be around this region. However, the original version of Beauty and the Breakdown, which was also the exact same amount of words, is about 50 pages shorter due to some very fun formatting tricks. 
so you can expect paper forests hopefully to be probably in the 350 page region still on like the short end for a fantasy but i want my books to be you know i don't know the word but honestly i prefer shorter books and especially with fantasies because they can end up being hundreds of pages long i want it to be a very simple straight to the point direct almost fantasy but also more accessible to people who are newer to reading the genre there's a lot going on in this book especially in comparison to reading the breakdown and i am very proud of it it's about this contrast of lightness and darkness and being lost and found and most of all it's about coming trapped in a place and not wanting to leave because the alternatives are somehow worse it's equally inspired by hansel and gretel and the concept of my come romance's fifth studio album that never came out and i think the final point to add is that i'm never gonna get over this whole author thing like i'm fully aware that i'm just a self-published author and not a full-blown author like author tm trademark all those things but it's been my dream for years to put words in pages and pages into books and books into hands and obviously to have my own name on my bookshelf so although i'm not like making a big book deal there's no guarantee that people are going to read this book so i'm not an author in like the traditional sense but i'm still an author i'm a writer i wrote two books the experience of writing this book was completely different to my last one. I was 13 when I wrote the majority of this and I published it when I was 15, just for my 16th birthday. So a majority of this was born from like very hypothetical daydreams and romanticising toxic relationships in media and using film scenes to, I guess, compensate for my lack of life experience. And Paper Forests, although it is largely a fantasy, is somehow the most real thing I've ever written. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that I'll be able to welcome you into the paper forest on May 17th. Bye!